Hi, Miss Meeks. This is Carolina for Challenge Your Beliefs. When we first got assigned this assignment, I wasn't sure what to expect because I'd consider myself a very understanding person. I'm very open-minded to all reasoning, but for the particular issue I chose on whether or not women should have abortions, it proved rather challenging for me. I chose abortions as my topic of interest because it is considered a very controversial issue to this day. Another main reason why I chose this issue is because from all of my family members, I'm the only one that believes that women should be given the option to whether or not to end a pregnancy. I'd like to believe that women who do choose abortion have the best intentions, but I know that's not true. Not all women have the best intentions when it comes to abortion. Some are rather selfish and abuse this privilege, but all, all I can do is speak for those who have valid reasons to come to this tough decision. For example, some women are financially unstable to raise a child, so they'd rather choose another time to start a family when they are capable to properly care for a child. Another reason is that medical or genetic complications may occur during pregnancy that put both mother and baby at risk. Another but extreme factor to why women may choose abortions is because they may be a victim of rape and the result of that tragedy may come in the form of an innocent child and the victim may feel resentment towards that child. It is a very unfortunate situation and many do not want to go through that pregnancy and labor process because it does take an emotional and physical toll on them. Now initially, I chose a former classmate from high school that I knew that had a very strong opinion about abortions. Uh, she'd prefer to remain anon anonymous, but she did give me permission to state some of her claims. Her reasonings mainly came from personal experiences and her belief system. She she strongly is against abortions. She states that women who have abortions are murderous and they violate the basic human rights. I decided to ask her, wouldn't that also violate the woman's basic human right if she can't have an abortion or if she wanted to have an abortion? Then she decided to avoid the question by stating that women who have abortions are irresponsible and selfish. It seemed to me that she got a little upset during the interview and decided to cut it short. But what I concluded from this interview is that she did not have valid points. She did not give me any sort of statistics or any way to avoid abortions or any alternatives. She just mainly attacked women who want to have abortions, so it was an ad hominem. She also tried to avoid many of the questions I asked. So I decided to interview another person. So I got in contact with Matt for Students for Life of America. They're an organization recruiting students to help abolish abortions. Matt was super professional. He gave me some valid points to why women may seek abortions because most mothers don't have the support system, which is a crucial part in this process. But many reasons why he's against it stems from his religion. He explained to me that there are ways they try to abolish abortions by offering mothers in need, by offering them housing, jobs, and educational programs on how to mother and how to ready to be a mother. The interview lasted around like 15 to 20 minutes. He didn't have much time to talk to me, but he was, he did want me to agree with him on many points but I did agree with him on some but just not all he told me I asked him if there was any alternatives on how to avoid abortions but he kept telling me that women should not have abortions that there's other solutions like adoption which I do agree some women can give their child up for for adoption but other than that he just gave me some Pro, he just gave me some educational programs that teen mothers or mothers can take to get them ready to be to be a mother. But other than that, he 
he was totally against abortions. I even gave him in a scenario where a woman was raped. And even then, he was still against abortion. He says that it violated the basic human rights of that child, that, that he's an advocate for babies. But in the end, I still believe that women should have that option on whether or not to have an abortion. But I also believe that women should be offered these kind of services he talked about nationwide to reduce abortion rates. From this experience, I can say that it was really interesting because from my first interview, I remember that the girl I interviewed had a very strong opinion and she was very judgmental. And I uh, then I came to con the conclusion that she was not a right candidate to interview. So that's when I seeked out Matt, which gave me an eye-opening um, reasons and alternatives. But in the end, I still do, I still believe that women should have the option on whether or not to end a pregnancy. All right, well, thank you.